again. Today we're going to be making a chocolate lava cake. It is delicious, super simple, and we're going to be cooking it in a crock pot. Even better, right? So let's go ahead and show you what we're going to be using today. Alrighty guys, so for this lava cake, we're actually going to be using a box of chocolate cake mix. You can use whatever brand you like, but this is the brand I like using, and I'm using the Devil's Food Chocolate Cake Mix. You're just going to follow the recipe on the back, and that's it. And then we're going to be using um, instant pudding. Also, just follow the instructions on the back and a 12 ounce of chocolate chips. So let's go ahead and show you how we're going to make this. Alrighty guys, so I like to start off by making my chocolate cake mix. Um, like I said, you're just going to follow the instructions on the back, which is the three eggs, some water, and oil. Super simple. Of course, mix everything together. Once everything is combined, set aside, and we're going to start with our instant pudding now. Same thing, follow the instructions on the back, which is the two cups of milk. You're just going to mix until you see the thickness of the pudding. And that's exactly what you want to see there. Now with our crock pot, we're just going to go ahead and um, spray a cooking baking spray in there just so our batter doesn't get stuck. And of course, set your um, crock pot to high heat. I'm going to pour half of the cake batter here and save the rest. Go ahead and spread out evenly. And now with our chocolate pudding, we're just going to go ahead and spoon it in there um, and spread it out evenly. I find this method to be the best. So spooning it, some people just like to pour it in there, but yeah. And then now with our chocolate chips, just pour them all on top. And with that remaining cake batter, go ahead and just pour that on top as well. It's okay if some of the chocolate chips are showing, but just uh, spread it out evenly as much as you can. And that's it guys. We're just gonna go ahead and cover this and let it cook. Alrighty guys, so our lava cake is cooking. We're gonna have it at high heat. Um, it's usually done between two to two and a half hours. So around the two hour mark, I'm gonna come and look at it to see if it's done. But yeah, so now it's just a waiting game. But yeah, this looks amazing. It looks perfect. I went ahead and topped it with some vanilla ice cream and toasted pecans. You can do whatever you like. I've seen people do it with caramel, more chocolate. but not overly sweet either. That's like one thing I like about this. For some reason, it just gets like a really good combination of flavors in there. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Remember, just please like and subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified on my next video. Bye!